All right, YouTube 106 Falconer here. <clears throat> I'm going to do a uh, offline uh, hard drive clone today because my current hard drive, 250 gigabyte, 232 usable, um, <clears throat> 23 gigabytes free space. It's just not big enough. So I have a 500 gigabyte uh, crucial SATA drive that I'm go that I'm going to uh, clone from this 20 or 250 gigabyte uh, Samsung hard drive I'm using. So I just wanted to show you the, the stats here. Um, I just, I, I know the offline cloning works well with this uh, Sabrent uh, two drive uh, docking station where you can do offline cloning. Uh, I did that with Windows 7. I cloned my Windows 7, op 7 operating system from the Samsung onto the the new crucial 500 gig um, but then I put the Samsung back in to uh, and I upgraded to Windows 10 because it's still a free upgrade <coughs> so <coughs> but last night I was down to like uh, two gigabytes of space left on my hard drive I don't know what's clogging it up but if you ever run into that problem I'll show you this program if you don't know about it it's called uh, uh, Win direct stat or winder stat, whatever. Um, it's a free program and it goes through and analyzes your drives. I just did the C drive and it'll show you what's using what as far as space goes. And then you can, uh, you know, you can open up the files and you can break it down to, you know, I mean, you can get as detailed as you want. But as you can see here, my uh, Windows 7 operating system. Is, is the old system is using up 50 gigabytes of space which is huge so I'm going to uh, uh, do the offline cloning and then I'm going to go in and uh, delete the uh, the old windows because I, I want to make sure Windows 10 is going to clone um, like I said I did on Windows 7 it clone perfect but anyways so this WinDirect stat you know any drive it'll it'll analyze any drive you want it to um, and when it's done analyzing, get these little Pac-Man people on there. Then you get all the rest of this info. It's, it's, it's quite uh, feature-packed for, uh, for a free program. So, but then I'll show you here um, real quick. Prior to installing Windows 10, my um, the uh, partition here, the system file partition, which is usually 99 megabytes, like down here, um, was too full to install Windows 10 on. Um, I went through, I, I went into the to DOS and tried cleaning up files that way according, you know, that's how uh, when, uh, Microsoft tells you, I followed their instructions. I could not get enough space clean on here. I tried, uh, um, um, oh shoot, what is that program I used to love? Um, well, whatever, that cloning software. Um, I tried using that but everything I needed to do which was the biggest thing I needed to increase um, uh, the partition partition size as you can see now it's 893 megabytes um, it, I had to uh, buy the paid version of, uh, of the program shit I'll remember it before the video is over um, but so after searching and searching and searching there's this program here Amoni or Omi partition it's free and you can uh, increase you can uh, increase your partition size with the free version and I did that um, right from Windows I didn't boot up in the safe mode or anything like that I just did it right from right from my normal normal uh, Windows pane and uh, it partitioned it fine so then I was able to install Windows 10 all right so I'm going to shut this down I'm going to uh, uh, clone the hard drives fire it back up and uh, we'll be back all right YouTube so I have the computer shut down I got my Samsung uh, hard drive in the um, in the a slot I have my my uh, 500 gigabyte crucial in the B slot so I'll just power this up then you 
make sure your LEDs are in here, then you press and hold this until you get the blue light, and then you press it real quick, and it's starting the cloning process. So once it gets all the way to the end, she'd be done. Like I said, I did it uh, with the Windows 7. It took just about exactly 10 minutes to do it. So, um, oh, when you use this thing, the destination drive, it says in the directions, has to be larger than the um, source drive. So I don't know if you, you know, so obviously you can't do, I couldn't do it over to another 250 gigabyte drive. Um, and then what it'll do also is that it'll, it'll leave um, um, unallocated space on the drive. It just clones exactly what you have on here. And the rest of the drive is gonna be unallocated space. So you just assign that over to, over to C and bam, you're good. So, um, all right, we'll be back uh, when this gets done. All right, so that's done. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna shut it down. Remove the new hard drive. Hook it up, I'll be back in a minute here. Okay, so a successful clone. Um, we shall uh, go to disk management. Okay, so the new hard drive, as you can see, the, the uh, extended uh, partition did carry on over. Here's the C drive, and then this is unallocated. So um, we just right click on that um, no wait let's see here do, do, do. extend volume next so we want that unallocated why won't you move ah all right, so the unallocated space, we want that sent over to the C drive. Next. All right. So now you can see C drive absorbed that unall unallocated space. All right, that's it. That's the uh, Sabrent. Um, dual bay docking station with offline cloning so people say uh be careful for the offline cl offline cloning because if you have bad sectors or whatever on your hard drive it'll clone over and then the new hard drive might not boot up properly um for something like that oh yeah that that uh, uh mini tool partition wizard that's that's what i wanted to use at first but uh the things I wanted to do, you had to buy the paid version. Where this Aomi, <clears throat> you can do it all in the free version. So you can do your cloning and everything in there. So, all right, that's it. See ya.